Hi, it's John and I'm in Wimborne and this is the site of the old allotments and they're going to be building on here. It's not only the old allotments but they've also demolished quite a lot of housing as well I think to create new houses and of course one of the things about new houses is they're built to such a high standard, well I, most of them are built to a very high standard, very well insulated got plugs and sockets in all the right places um, so they're a lot more efficient than than the old ones that um, were pulled down no doubt and there's this footpath running up the middle so I can have a bit of my nose about and see what's around so I'm back in the middle of the plot now and those houses over there I mean, they all look a bit sad, don't they? They're all sort of built in sort of um, dark brick. But no, it looked like 1970s, 80s type style. Been a bit better if they'd have made some nicer colour. I suppose they do blend in with the trees and the woods quite well. And then some over here which are flats from the 1960s, I think. I mean, in today's eyes, they look terrible, don't they? Probably quite nice inside. Is evidence of the allotments, remains of someone's compost heap, even the remains of an old wheelbarrow there. So they've got this big plot for the building land, um, but they've had to put the a, a, a fence to in the middle uh, to let this path be through the middle because it's a public footpath and you can't obstruct public foot car, footpaths in the UK and now we see um, Windborne Minster Church right in the middle there and there we see the bridge main bridge into Windborne from the A35, A31 one of the two but it's a tiny old bridge it takes a huge amount of traffic. It's only just about wide enough for two cars. But uh, still there. I expect one day they'll build another bridge as well. Ah, oh, look. There's somebody has um, flat-packed their shed. But they haven't got round to taking it away. You know, after the allotments. I wonder if they'll still be allowed to take that shed away. Hopefully they will. Looks like there might be another one up there that's been flat packed but hasn't been taken away. Need quite a vehicle to shift a shed, wouldn't you? And looks like somebody had a couple of apple trees on their allotment and they've actually got tree preser pre preservation orders on. Tree protection do not remove. That's good, isn't it? Now one of the reasons that the land has been assigned for housing is because it's about three metres higher than the surrounding land. So the surrounding land is all like flood meadows and this higher land is, uh, you know, free from floods. There's a fair few nice young oak trees that they've left. Now in this day and age, you could buy an oak tree like that and it can be transported. They've got the machinery now to transport things like that. Um, I wonder how much an oak tree like that would cost. Uh, if I was stood up against that, would be six foot, 12, 24, 24, 36, 36, about 45 feet tall oak tree probably be talking about thousands of pounds and there's several others about the site as well which they've preserved so that would be make the housing look quite nice oh I've only just noticed this this um, fencing it just shows that I'm not that observant am I www.herpetoshork.com Newt and Reptile Fencing 
So this is all around the site, presumably to stop newts and reptiles getting into the into the site and then being killed because everything that's probably in there at the moment has already been squashed. Don't know see how they would possibly get them all out. And here's a little thing they've put in across the path here to stop newts and reptiles, like a cattle grid for, for newts and reptiles. It's amazing. Glad I've noticed this. I mean, the world has changed so much. It changes, I don't know, it changes all the time. I mean, in 10 years it's changed so much. I've got sort of, I've been watching wheeler dealers and you know, the cars that they preserve are so different to what they were when they started. There's somebody else's shed been left and um, they flat packed it but probably don't know how on earth to get it to the new plot. So they have assigned some new land for allotments but it's not ready yet. So it says keep P. Simons plot number 92. I hope he gets his shed back. And these could have been a pile of pallets they left for people to put their sheds on.